What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Working on a jingle. Welcome back to my channel. Remington James Fitness Channel. We cook stuff, we ain't cannibals, right? Might need to tweak that last line. Today we got one heck of a video, man. This is for everybody out there that's going through financial problems. One thing about dieting and eating healthy is a lot of people think it's expensive. My goal today is to bust that myth. So what I'm gonna do, I went to the bank and I pulled out my life savings. We got a $50 bill. We got 50 bucks. Remember when you were a kid and 50 bucks seemed like a lot of money? I remember you'd open up that birthday card and there'd be a $50 bill in there and you were just like, wow, what am I gonna buy? Condo in Venice? Who wants a car? But nowadays it doesn't seem like 50 bucks goes really that far. But we're gonna make it go far. We're gonna stretch it. And we're gonna go shopping for an entire week of groceries and I'm gonna use just $50 and see if we can make that last. The goal here is to be as cost effective as possible and give you guys some knowledge so we can uh, make 50 bucks last. So if you guys are ready for another epic video, then as always, I'm here to do it with you, baby. Let's do it! I feel like I need a scantily clad woman to be feeding me grapes with all this cash I'm carrying around. This is what it feels like to be rich. Ooh, fan myself with it. It's getting hot in here, all this cash. So we got a $50 bill with my favorite president, Benjamin Franklin. Is that Benjamin Frank? Constable Hux? Cherry Bottomsworth. You know who this president is? Comment below, because I don't. Too busy passing notes in history to be paying attention. Only thing I took away from it was blah, blah, blah. Taxes will cripple us as a nation. Let's keep the mood light. I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to bring back the receipt, and I'm going to show you guys just how cost effective meal prep can be if you're trying to put on some masks. Get a horseshoe tricep. Then all you need is $50, an open mind, and a motorized vehicle to get you to the store and you're in there. So without further ado, I will be right back, baby. Let's go. Oh man, wait till you see what we got for 50 bucks, man. Woo. If I'm being real, it's been a minute since I've really tried to shop on a crazy budget and I'm actually like super surprised at how cheap this was. When you guys see this, it's gonna blow your mind. So we went into the store with this and came out with this. I call that a win. Got the receipt right here. By the way, I used my debit card to pay for it because carrying this around, I just felt like a new man. Pulled up at a stoplight, held this out the window and the C's parted, drove right on through. Status symbol. So for verification, I'm gonna put some stuff on screen as we go through this. You guys can see the breakdown, but if you want to see the full thing here, $49 and two cents for this entire thing. Let's break it down. So what I did was, is I wanted to make sure that $50 would last us an entire week. So not only did I buy everything in the right quantities to last a full seven days, I even made a meal plan to go along with it that'll break down at the end of the video. But for real, you can spend 50 bucks and eat for an entire week. It might not be the sexiest diet ever, but it'll get the job done if you're trying to put on muscle. Game changer. Break it down. One of the cheapest carbs on the market, one of the easiest to prepare is gonna be white rice. You guys probably should have seen that coming. This entire bag will last us over a week and only cost $2 dollars and 39 cents. A great versatile carb, very filling. Big fan of it myself. I eat it dang near every day. Now for proteins, this is where the bulk of our price is going to come in. But if you buy it right, it ain't too bad. These ones here, $1.99 a pound. So we're eating a pound of chicken a day to help get our protein in. Let's flip you around. We're able to get a little over eight and a half pounds of chicken for $17 and 27 cents. I buy a little over just because you're going to trim some of this crap off of it. So it'll get us a little closer to seven pounds, but that's going to get us an entire week's worth of protein from a lean source. Now for vegetables, Vegetables, we got seven bags of frozen green peas. You might be like, Rem, why green peas? Well, I find them to be very tolerable and each bag is only a dollar. So you microwave it and you're good. You're gonna eat a bag a day. What I love about peas is that you're gonna get 16 grams of protein and 16 grams of fiber from the bag along with a ton of micronutrients make you feel good and everybody can eat peas. Even if you don't like broccoli or none of that, you can eat peas. Trust me, I'm a doctor. No, I'm not. Yeah, dollar a piece. So we spent $7 on our veggies for the week. Not only will that be easy, but it's gonna taste good too and you won't mind eating it. Green peas for the win. I eat these on almost every day now too. Let's talk about one of the cheapest foods on the market. That is eggs, man. We got two 18 pack containers. We're gonna have six eggs a day. Love me some eggs. As well as a 12 pack to help save on price. For all of these eggs, we paid $1.39 for an 18 pack and only 95 cents for this 12 pack. That's gonna give us enough eggs for seven days and that didn't really cost us much. We're gonna get healthy fat out of that, omega threes and some protein, a good way to kickstart the day. Recommend eggs in almost every diet and I eat them once again, almost every single day. Now this big tub of oats is gonna last us the entire week week as well. We're going to have 160 grams of oats a day or about two cups. This only costs us $2.49. Now with a lot of this stuff, you got to pay attention because there's premium brands that ain't really going to be much different, but they're like 
twice the cost. For instance, the Quaker version of this was like five bucks. This was $2.49, same exact package, same exact ingredients, same exact macros, literally the same thing, except the other one has a pasty white guy on it. Also, to help us get our fast, we got ourselves a jar of natural peanut butter that will also last us the whole week for $1.79. Healthy fats, protein, some fiber in there, love me some peanut butter. And then we also got some peanuts. If you're more of a crunch person, again, same as the natural peanut butter, we're gonna get a lot of good out of this. This will also last us a week and only cost us a dollar and 99 cents. Now with everything I listed, that was only about $35 or so. And you could get away with just spending that and eating, but it's gonna be a little bland if you do it that way and you might get a little bored. So I spent the extra money we had to get us up to that $49 mark on some quality of life food enhancements. So let me show you. When you're eating that much oatmeal a day, you don't wanna eat it plain. This is Walden Farm zero calorie pancake syrup. No calories, nothing in this. You mix this with your oatmeal, this literally tastes just like syrup. You got syrup oatmeal. It's more like a treat than it is just plain horse oats. You don't wanna feel like you're eating out of a trough? Throw this in there, you'll feel a little better. Takes it from gruel to, and it's still gruel, but it's got some syrup flavor. $2.99 for this, found it on sale. This stuff, game changer. Now some sauce for our chicken. You can make this into barbecue chicken if you want without much calorie impact. We got G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce hickory flavor. I don't know who G Hughes is, but I trust him right away. No fat, only two grams of carbs per serving, zero grams of protein, and one serving is 30 grams. That's a lot of sauce for only two grams of carbs. So this stuff is a game changer as well, man. You wanna spice up that chicken? Grab some of this. And then another quality of life thing that I'm telling you, if you haven't tried, don't knock it, is grated Parmesan cheese on your egg. Helps a ton with flavor, and once again, our goal here is not to add a lot of calories so this only has 1.5 grams of fat and two grams of protein per serving so you can throw this on and you really don't have to sweat it too much game changer barbecue sauce was a little more at three dollars and 69 cents parmesan cheese we got for a dollar 79 but once again that little bit of money is going to help make this so much more tolerable you're going to thank me later and then even past that we still had a little bit of leftover money so what i went ahead and did grab some pasta as well these were cheap i don't know why it says salad pasta salad i guess i don't know these are only a dollar a piece and that's going to get us quite a bit of carbs and a lot of volume now i do recommend what you do it you nuts you're nuts you really wanted to you could swap out your rice for the pasta especially when you're trying to build mass it's not going to make that much of a difference if you want a little change up so you could take this and then we had a little extra money as well i bought a thing of prego lower calorie pasta sauce baby dollar 99 for this you literally make your noodles a little bit of this add your chicken or buy some lean ground beef and boom that's a whole nother meal idea as well while still keeping it cheap keep in mind if you're buying beef and you're buying like the really fatty versions of it it's really not that good for you so you want to buy it lean the reason i didn't do that here is because that gets a little more pricey. We're trying to keep this cost effective, baby. Went into the grocery store with a $50 bill and even left with change for the gumball machine. Or if you don't like gum, you could have tried to win a claw prize. Just kidding, no one wins those. So now that we got it all laid down, I'm gonna go ahead and prep this out and show you guys what seven days worth of food for 50 bucks looks like laid out. Let's go. For anybody that's never prepped before, I'm gonna give you some information that is gonna change your life. We just put seven cups of white rice in our rice cooker, filled it up with some water to the seven cups of rice water line. Check it out. Put it in, close the lid, hit the white rice button, and boom, that's gonna cook all of our rice for the week that easy. Rice cooker, I'm telling you, don't sleep on it. The easier this is, the easier it is to follow. While the rice is cooking, we're gonna trim some of this chicken. Eight and a half pounds of chicken. I imagine by the time we trim off all of this junk, it's gonna be about seven pounds. Now, you could just bake your chicken breast if you wanted to, but nothing will kill a meal faster than biting into gristle. I recommend trim them good. It takes a little bit of extra time, but I'm telling you, the payoff in the end is so much better. Get yourself a pair of meat scissors and get to work, baby. And this is what I'm talking about. You do not want to eat things like that. I've eaten things like that before. Me and my therapist are still working through it. Let's go, baby. And boom, this is what seven pounds of chicken looks like all cubed up. I like to cut it like this. I feel like it's easier to cook and it's easier to portion out. So we're gonna split this up over seven days. Seven days worth of chicken. Here's how we're gonna cook it. We got two pans heated up and ready to go. I got all my chicken right here and we're just gonna do it all right quick. Using two pans is gonna make it go faster. I got a big bowl here and as it's cooked, I'm just gonna kind of dump it into the bowl, rinse, repeat, refill. Pretty simple stuff. All you need is some cooking spray and a Gordon Ramsay nipple tassel and you're in there. Let's roll. Here we go. And boom, chicken is done. We got it all cooked up. It's ready to be sorted. We also got our peas right here and our rice just finished up not too long ago. So this right here, these three bowls is gonna be 14 meals. That's gonna be two meals a day that you would eat on the sample meal plan I threw together. Not bad for under 50 bucks, right? Before we get to sorting these out, let's move on to the next meal. Now, the way I break it down in the meal plan, you eat your eggs and your oatmeal separate. Might be a little more appetizing for some of you guys, but for me, convenience is key. If I'm gonna prep it, I'd rather do this instead of carrying multiple containers. So you might think this is gross, 
gross. But in these, I take my six eggs and our two cups of oatmeal, combine them, mix them up, and I will actually fry it up like this. It might sound gross, but I'm, I'm telling you, there's something about this. Had it last night, absolutely loved it. That's really about it. So let's get to cooking these up. Now, I do like to cook these one at a time because you don't want to burn it. You kind of want to stick with it and make sure the consistency is what you want. A boom and boom. Get in there. See, look at that. Not too bad. All right, let's be real here. That doesn't look as bad as you thought it was going to look, does it? Boom. We got all seven of our breakfast done. Throw some Parmesan cheese on that and you are golden. What I'm going to do now is we got 14 meal prep containers here. I'm going to go ahead and divvy this out and we're just going to lay this all out and break it down. And if you want a rough idea of how you should eat once you buy all the food, I'm going to give you guys a sample meal plan to follow as well. So if you're brand new to all this, I'm going to lay it out for you perfectly. Let's go. And boom, after a little bit of cooking in the kitchen, we got ourselves entire seven days worth of food prepped out and good to go. Would you look at that? There's something beautiful about that. Something majestic. Get a sweeping shot of all of this, baby. And this only cost us 50 bucks, which for an entire week, and I spend that going out to the Japanese steakhouse once. So let's go ahead and break this down. Now before I break down the macros and calories in this meal plan, if you are having trouble getting in a gallon of water a day, then you can do what I do. Buy the gallon ahead of time and put something in it that's gonna make it taste good. What is that, you might ask? Hold up. Final boss aminos, baby. Two scoops in your gallon. Things gonna taste good all day and you're getting branch chain amino acids as well. Plus the dragon's dope. Well, flavors like Sour Moon Rock, you can't go wrong. Finalbossperformance.com, code RJF10, saves you 10%. Also available on Amazon as well. Now let's break this down. So using the groceries we got for under $50, you can make quite a good meal plan. Let me break down, if you follow this plan, what you'll be eating in a day. You'll have about 3,342 calories, which is probably a surplus for most of you people watching. For me, I basically base this off of my numbers. I'm about 165 pounds right now. I'm lean right now. If I was gonna bulk, this would be about where I would keep it. And that is with 102 grams of fat, I find 100 is about the sweet spot on a bulk. You can always add more. It's a lot of it's listening to your body as you go, but I would say that's a good starting point for just about anybody trying to grow. 247 grams of protein. You should take in at a minimum a gram of protein per pound of body weight. And for me, I always like to have more protein than that. I find it keeps you fuller. If you're really trying to build muscle, you want those amino acids that are gonna be found in protein. And then for carbs, we have 347 grams. Not too shabby for the price, if I must say so myself. Keep in mind, if you're trying to lose weight, this exact program might not be for you. You're probably gonna need, definitely gonna need less calories than this unless you are built like the mountain. How many Game of Thrones fans we got out there? Did that last episode ruin your love for the series too or what? Now let's break it down meal by meal. So keep in mind, when I broke this meal plan down, I made it into four meals, but what really matters is that you get all the food in in the course of a day. It doesn't really matter how many meals you have. So you could break this up down into six meals. You could have certain items I list as snacks. You'll get the point once I break it down. So the way I have it laid out, meal one would be six large eggs, 160 grams of oatmeal, and 64 grams of natural peanut butter. So you could do what I did. You could make it like this and then have your peanut butter, which that was the best I could do. I would suggest buying little containers for it, but I threw mine away or something. I don't know where they went. So that's what you get. But for visual reference, it works. You could do that and that, or like we said earlier with the Walden Farm syrup, I see you over there peeking. You could have just made your eggs separate, made the oatmeal, put that in it, mixed with the peanut butter. I'm telling you, that's amazing too. But if you're trying to save on time, this is really good. Don't sleep on it. And then for meal two, we would have our eight ounces of uncooked chicken breast, half a cup of the uncooked rice, which is buried underneath there. You can see it on that one. Then 180 grams of green peas. And then meal three, you would have 56 grams of peanuts, which is easy enough to measure way out and throw in little baggies. Makes it easy for grab and go. And that way you don't have the whole container and you overeat on nuts. I ever tell you the story about the boy that had too much nuts? That wouldn't be safe for work. And then along with that, you would also have a two scoop protein shake. It'd be about 50 grams of protein there. You don't have to drink protein shakes, but it's an easy way to get about 50 extra grams of protein. And then for meal four, the final meal, the way I have it broken down, you would have another one of these guys. Eight ounces chicken, half cup uncooked rice, 180 gram green beans. And I have it all on the screen for you guys right here. So you can see it once again. So screenshot it if you want. You can follow this and keep in mind, you can lay it out any way you want. That's just a quick example to give you guys something to go off of that are brand new to this whole thing. So let's wrap her up. And boom, there goes another Remington James video. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am exhausted. Been on Reddit way too late at night lately, man. I need to, I need to cut that back about an hour and a half. <laughs> and that's real. Took me about four hours to cook all of this. And that's what me moving lights around, tripods around and trying to make a video for you guys. If I really buckle down, I could probably do it in about two and a half, three. And that's food for the whole week, man. I'm telling you, if you make this and you follow this, your body has no choice but to see results. I, like real story about me, oh, my whole life being kind of skinny fat. And I never saw my first set of abs until I followed my first meal plan for like three weeks. After that, I started to see the outlines and I'm like, oh man, is this easy? And since then I've been hooked. Not always 100% perfect on my diet, but you do it right 85, 90% of the time, it's gonna change your entire life. And that's the problem. So as always, I appreciate all you guys watching. My social media links are in the description box below. Be sure to follow me. My new single just dropped five bands on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, all that. So check it out. Five bands, Remington James, you won't regret it. Or you might.
night, I don't know. And if you are interested in having a meal plan created for you, your body type, your stats, everything, check out rangejfitness.com because I've been making meal plans on the daily for people. And once again, I'm telling you, you follow it, it will work. Every action you take creates a reaction, baby. You put the right stuff in your body, has no choice but to change. I've talked enough. I'm tired. I need to go edit this video. So thank you guys always for watching. Don't forget to smash like, comment below. Let me know what you think of this video, what you want to see in the future. Whatever, man, just leave something. Actually, how do you think Game of Thrones is going to end? The final episode for all my Game of Thrones fans out there. How do you think it's going to end? Because at this point, I don't know. Hope Tyrion takes the throne. What do you think? Comment below. And that's it. That's really it. Appreciate you guys as always. I am out of here. See you guys.